Man, got around. OG7 back here. And today, of all days, like each and every day, I'm going to have some fascinating stories of victory and glory, which I have to share with you through allegories and algorithms and parallelisms. So you can understand the victory of understanding that if a woman's into you, you don't have to spend any money at all. And the glory of finally getting to a point where you're not breaking yourself, trying to come out the pocket to knock it. Without any further ado, let's get into the video today, which is going to be a mind expanding for some of you beta males and for some of you triggered females that come onto my channel. I don't know why you keep coming back here. You must like punishment. But the topic of the video today is, if you're still trying to date a woman in 2023, she has already lost respect for you. So without further ado, let's get into the topic, man, because there's a lot of things I want to cover in this video. But the first and foremost, as I said in most of my videos with women, dude, and they can't help it. So this is not a woman-hating video or woman-bashing video. It's just a 62 I finally come to understand female nature, dude, and the female psychology, and a lot of stuff they can't help, so don't get mad. If you buy a brand new puppy and a puppy poops and pees in the house, why do you want to get mad? That's the puppy's nature. What I'm saying is women can't help what they want. A woman wants what she wants, and she can't help it. That's why they say attraction is not a choice. And here's the whole thing, guys. As women go about their day, like first of all, before they leave the house, the first thing you got to understand, when a woman wakes up in the morning and she's got sex on the brain, a lot of you guys don't understand this. You guys think that, oh, women don't like sex and women are pure and you have to convince them to have sex and then you got to run game on them to have sex and all this kind of stuff, man. That might be the situation with you, but most women, when they wake up in the morning, they got sex on their brain. How do I know? Because if you've ever been in a long-term relationship with a woman, the first thing they do when they get up in the morning is they got to put on their makeup and get their hair done and their hair right before they even hit the street. And why is that? You guys might say you might fall into this bullshit that women say, oh, I just do it, you know, to compete with other women or I do it to feel good about myself. No, they do it so they can get attention from men. Even if a woman's in a relationship, she still likes to feel desired and wanted by other men. It's just... How do I say this to you guys? Women use attention as currency. Like you and I, men, we use currency as actual value of, of ourselves in, this, in the sexual market value or even in a marketplace, right? How much money we make per hour, that's how we determine our value. Women go by how many looks she gets from men, how many men are hitting her up, how many she likes she gets on Instagram, how many thumbs up she gets on Facebook. Women are just wired differently. And once you guys understand that, there won't be this whole trying to figure out women because there's nothing to figure out. Women are how they are, and you have to be how you are. You have to just sit down into your archetype and just hunker down and be who you are. And you're going to attract the women that like that. You're not going to be attractive to all women. And I remember Curtis Thomas taught me this, man, when I first got to university. You know, just because I had, uh, I had spent some time in Europe, bro, and... Uh, I'm going to make a video talking about the different types of women, like European women versus American women versus Southeast Asian women versus uh, South American women. But when I was in Europe, man, you know, Europeans come from America, Caucasians come from Europe. And the way the women treated me was totally different. Like, they really understand masculine and feminine roles. And even though the women over there are very independent, they still appreciate a masculine male. And the way they treat you, dude, it just makes you feel like, you're happy to be a man. So when I got out of the university of life, I used to have this thing for uh, blonde hair, blonde hair, blue eyed women, man. Yeah, white women, tall, like dramatic type. And then, you know, I used to have to be like running game on them. I'm a very good conversationalist. I just have to run game on them and be charismatic. Whereas all the other women, like the Puerto Rican women and the Asian women and the African American women and the uh, Middle Eastern women, they would go crazy over me, man. So the German dude, one time we was out, and then, and then it was this snow bunny went by. And I said, you know what, man? That's my target acquisition. She's going to be my girlfriend. And the, and the German dude was like, dude, why are you always chasing after women where you always got to be proving yourself? He said, man, look around the room. 
There's so many women right now with that to just be next to you. You're tripping. He said, you got to like those who like you. So what I want to give Curtis Thomas credit for is he, he taught you, and I want to teach you guys this, man. Every woman's not going to like you, dude. Every woman's got their own type of archetype. You have to figure out what your archetype is and be so set in that paradigm, dude. So set in that way that you view the world that nobody can shake the way you view yourself. And the women that resonate with that will come to be with you effortlessly. And what does that got to do with the topic of today's video? Guys, I want to share something with you, man. Uh, my archetype is a warrior archetype. I think there's seven or eight. One of my value subscribers told me about it. But there's a link. Just Google male archetypes. I think there's an artist, poet, lover, warrior, scholar. Uh, there's different types, man. You got to figure out which one is your archetype because it's going to resonate with your personality. Become that guy and live as that guy. Now, I'm not saying you got to be a savage at work, but within the confines, you know, quit trying to be a nice guy. Quit trying to be Mr. Friendly to everybody. Women don't appreciate nice guys. They don't like nice guys, dude. They don't like friendly guys. Yeah, they like to use you for fucking free dinners and fucking paying their rent. And getting manicures and pedicures and getting their hair done. They 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 only appreciate you for that. So here's the here's the more of the story. I want to make this very clear to you guys, guys. Become who you are, and you gotta be a I don't give a fuck a type of guy about a woman's feelings, emotions. She wants to tell you how her day went. She wants you to be an emotional tampon. Get the fuck out of here. Here's the situation, guys. If a woman's into you, dude. She'll, she'll climb the highest mountain, swim the deepest sea to get to you. You don't have to have no money at all because the chemistry she has with you, bro, she's just so into you. That's all she can see. That's all she wants to be with is you. That's all she can think about, guys. And here's the flip side. You guys got to quit going after these Instagram thoughts. These, uh, these what do you call them? These hotties, these dime pieces, whatever you want to call them. These girls you think are fine or hot or whatever. A woman's a woman is a woman. Like some shells are different, but they're all, you know, they're all the same on the inside, dude. You got to get past the shell thinking about you got to have this checklist and she's got to meet this. That's unrealistic expectations. What you got to look at is in your life is who you are, what do you want, where are you headed, and which women can align with you to help you get where you're going because you're the leader. You're the captain of the fucking ship. You're not a passenger, dude. You're the driver. So what that means is this, guys, because sometimes I speak above your head. You don't understand because the way I'm speaking so eloquently, I'm going to break it down in layman's terms. If you meet a woman and you, she's talking about you have to take her out to dinner or take her on a trip or fly her out somewhere just to be with her, then she's not into you. And no matter how much money you spend, no matter how many five-star dinners you take her on, how many exotic vacations... How much you get her hair done, her nails done, buy her wardrobe, pay her car note, pay her uh, her, her apartment, pay her mortgage. She's not going to respect you, dude. The minute you try to date a woman, she automatically knows you're a beta, and then she's going to treat you like a footstool. And the German taught me this. Curtis Thomas taught me this. I remember when I lived with Curtis, and he was into uh, he was into dating apps, man. And I asked him, I was like, "Hey, dude, why are you into dating apps?" He's like, "I'm busy." very successful. I don't have time to be uh, chasing women. You know, I'm very focused on my money. And dude's a millionaire now. He's a multi-millionaire. But one thing I noticed when he used the dating apps, dude, he would just tell the women, hey, come over and let's kick it and chill. Let's have a drink and conversation. Now the 60% of the women that came over, he would slay them. And the other 40%, dude, he would just not even talk to them anymore. And I just noticed living with him, like sometimes I would have to be in the kitchen cooking. And he have a woman on the couch and they're watching a movie, maybe having a glass of wine or whatever. And he's like rubbing on her thigh because you got to do keno. And then a woman like frees up and, and push his hand away. He immediately stopped the whole vibe. He's like, hey, what seems to be the problem? Oh, you know, you're moving too fast. And he goes, well, basically, what did you come over here for? Yeah, so we can get to know each other better. He said, okay, check it out. So I'm not into, I'm not the type of guy trying to scare women. I don't like women being scared of me. So if you're scared of me or you're afraid of what we're trying to do here, you need to leave right now. He would just tell them like that, leave. 
So after they leave, I'll be like, dude, what's, what's he said, man, I don't have time to play that game, man. The woman, the woman knows what she came over here for. Why she come over here? Do all this? Because if a woman likes you, bro, how do you think women's body counts get so high? How do you think women have so many one night stands, bro? How do you think that women have so many flings? A woman can have sex like this, dude, at the drop of a hat, dude. Maybe uh, uh, the average woman can have sex, man, three, four, five times a day with different dudes, man, and not blink an eye. They're not built like us, dude. Maybe if you're a young guy, you can bust four or five nuts, bro. But I'm talking about if you meet a high quality woman and she have you putting in some work, like putting your back into it, like Ice Cube says. Yeah, you'd be lucky if you can bust three, four nuts a day every day. So all I'm saying is this, guys. You have to understand that if you're trying to date a woman in 2023, she's already lost respect for you because irregardless of dating apps, guys, I'm going to tell you how women work. When a woman's into you, all you have to do is say, hey, you know what? You seem like a pretty interesting person. I think you and I could probably be friends. So why don't you come over to my place after work and let's have a conversation. Maybe bring your favorite drink over. We're going to get to know each other. If she's into you, bro, she's all in. She'll be there. Maybe she won't even wear any panties, bro. But if she's not into this, this is what she's going to tell you. Oh, you know, I'm the type of girl that you got to date me and I got to get to know you first. And then maybe I got like a nine date rule and you have to do certain things to show me that you care. She's not into you, bro. And if you go down that path to let her lead the relationship or the interaction, you've already lost. So what I'm here to tell you in this short video is this, guys. Stop trying to date women because you're trying to think it's the honorable thing to do. You want to be a nice guy. You want to respect women. Women don't appreciate and value that. Now, if they did, I would tell you, hey, if it worked, I would tell you, hey, be a nice guy and buy them flowers and shit and, and roses and shit and candy and be the nice guy. Do all that for them. But it doesn't work. So why do you want to keep doing a certain action and you're not getting the results that you want? Doing the same thing over and over and not getting the result that you want is called insanity. If what you're fucking doing is not working, stop doing it and go immediately in the other direction, dude. That's why they call it retreat and about face. So let me end this video like this, guys. I want to tell you like this, dude. If a woman's into you, bro, she will come to your place. I don't care if you're using a dating app or if you're like me. I used to just meet women at the gas station. Or I meet women at the supermarket at the fucking gym. Mostly at the gym and the supermarket, dude, the gas station, okay. But I meet a woman, I say, hey, you seem like an interesting person, you know. And I think we can be friends, so hey, let me get your number so I can text you my address later. You just come over, we get to know each other. If she's in compliance to do that, she's into me. And I'm not trying to tell you guys to slay a lot of women. What I'm trying to tell you is, if a woman's into you, she's going to give you her body. And then from there, there you can determine if her personality uh, fits your liking as far as cohesiveness and cooperation. But if she's not into you, no matter how much money you spend, how many fancy dates you take her on, she's not going to give her, you her body. And that's the, that's the whole deciding factor of whether you guys are compatible or not. If a woman's not willing to give you her body, dude, then why the fuck are you wasting your time, bro? You got enough fucking platonic friends, man. It's time to fucking buckle down and man up and grow a pair of cojones. Until next time, OG Silkback, out.